So that's a uh, quite decent turn and quite a decent river. Um, and I just go for the overbet. I don't know whether he would ever check raise something like if he has a jack 10, but he will for sure call it. He might have a king that is, I don't know, I'd have the ace of hearts that is probably always calling. Who knows, who knows? I have it, I go big against someone who clearly likes to call. And we got the call. That 1k table is running quite smoothly. So that's good. Let's see. He had the rivered queen jack. Yeah, I even had that in mind, but I'm not sure. On a paired board, someone who plays 46 11 who limps. Is it like check raising if I bet big there? So I'd rather be. Sh he will always call it. So I'd rather bet big myself. Maybe I value cut me a little here against that size. If I bet half pot or something. He is probably raising, but but I cannot be sure. How long do you plan on streaming today, Muggy W? Um, until I won enough? No, until I uh, I'm hungry. I started at like 10:30, and I didn't have breakfast. So until my stomach tells me to take a break, I will stream, and then I will probably just head out the door and find something to eat. Uh, that's quite a decent flop and this is quite a decent flop too. Here we isolated limper, but we don't care about it anymore. Um, here, I mean I'm blocking all the calling range, so it's actually a thing with low frequency to size down when you just have it, right? Um, I can for example, well, actually cannot, so yeah, good stuff can happen sometimes. Um, Let's pretend to be a little thinking. No, that's just bullshit. So we'll call any river, for sure this river. Thank you. And we made his jack 10 of di uh, jack 10 off going crazy. So this is the next spot for a good note. And I think if I bet big there, he will just fold. Let's see how the jacks go in that four bet pot here. Probably not too good. you ever played on Unibet cash tables, that's a long time ago. Just a very little. Wow, now the jacks are... I mean, what am I beating? I'm beating again pure bluffs, that's the thing. Now he can take his kings and queens and keeps betting. 66, but how in the world could I ever fold jacks here, right? I have some ace-x. But it's like, do we really think this guy is ever bluffing here? Like this would be the... I'm even like blocking the ace-jack suited, right? I do have one combination of ace-queen suited. I have like quarter a combination of ace-queen off here. Uh, and that's it. I'm fighting queens sometimes. I'm always jamming kings. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not folding. He has his kings all day long, but I'm still not folding. Check. But I'm happy to save those last 54 bucks. Queen-jack, nice. Sometimes they prove you wrong, and that's why I'm not falling, even when I think I'm always behind. Um, um, what else? Which stats, except for the most common ones, like VPIP, PFR, 3-bet, are most useful at cash game, in your opinion? Uh, I'm checking my jacks here. Um... I like one, you need some sample, like obviously this gives you the picture, for that, let's, let's have a look at that Stoffelinho guy, he plays of over 69 hands, he plays 14, 6, 3.7, that's enough that I know while well, he will be a freaking it. Right? Uh, that Eraser guy, who we all know as like a solid wreck, plays 24, 17, 11, just over 40 hands, but I know well that looks kind of decent, right? Um, and actually I'm just jamming in my set here. Uh, I'll look that up, but um, feels like just too much equity to check fall and check call, check fold somewhere. I can fold out some king queen with one heart. I run into some flushes, but I'm not planning on folding that hand ever, so it doesn't change anything. So, okay, this is beyond ridiculous. Okay. Got that guy. I said he's crushing that pool, definitely. And he is exploiting me here in a way, 
or tries at least. I don't know how he comes to that idea. So I see bet here, I give up on the turn with my hand and I bluff kind of my nut low. I have all kinds of 10s, other I can play that way. And uh, he floated king seven off, no backdoor. So first of all, that's a very, very close preflop defend. Uh, secondly, this is a bit beyond ridiculous flop float and he can exploit some sick overfolding of me on the river if he gets there. I'm not sure whether that is a thing. In the pool, for sure, but against the good player in the pool, maybe not. Um, and yeah, this is just, and then like he snaps me off on the river after hitting, that's fine, right? He's an okay catcher, but uh, that's definitely one where I need to take a note. And uh, yeah, where were we at? So uh, yeah, it's not allowed for poker stars or uh, party poker to put up like their logos everywhere. And since live tournaments are more marketing than money makers, um, they have no interest in doing them in Germany. Oh, hello. Um, betting and checking is both fine. Uh, he does not have a full stack. I'm um, just thinking about what that tells me uh, and how that influences my decision. I think I'm just playing like this bet doesn't really exist in the real world, but I think it's just Maxi B because he might be a recreational player. China, not full stack, and they are just not folding when they have some kind of, let's call it draw, if they have like an ace jack here. Uh, so I'm sizing down now. And that's the perfect river. Donk jam, no slow roll for you. Jack nine, I told you perfect river. Okay, so Reed was spot on. That was the perfect river, okay. It's really pretty sick, like, it's like I get, I mean, you have seen it, quite some donations I was getting here so far. Um, you know, uh, snap call ace queen against that 150% bet, that's not a thing. Um, yeah, I randomized the river. Sometimes bluff, sometimes not. Uh, did not improve at all, so. My range didn't improve at all, so yeah. But definitely lots of notes to be taken here again. That already. Like, the more unorthodox stuff you see, like that min donk here on that deuce. Uh, the more notes you can take. So we're over betting delayed here. We are over betting delayed here. Let's see how much he's ready to go f to go for it. <laughs> Not ready enough, apparently. So obviously for all the people that are still asking whether I'm broke because I'm playing NL200, um, maybe, maybe just feel free to send money. You see my screen name here, you can send it on Poker Stars. Hit me up to, to send donations out, um, but um, it's not really necessary. I'm, I'm, I'm safe for now. Um, my, my girlfriend has a good job, so um, yeah, don't, don't worry about me too much. And instead, make sure to hit that sub button that is, I don't know, down here somewhere, I don't know, um, to, to uh, support the whole NLG project. And uh, I check raised here on that flop. I'm going to size down here. We 
face that race. Got a call. That's the worst card. Um, I mean, I'm the guy that should have the flush draws and I'm the guy that should have the boats after him racing. So it's not really bad, but yeah. Roll a number, sometimes just flatting, but I don't really feel like it. So we rolled an 80, that's a good number. A little deeper, so I make it a little bigger than usual. The call, I like that call. Snap call, it's not like the, the do I trap aces or jam. Um, betting small, uh, we're a little deeper, so I increase from 25 to 30% just to keep keep sizing a little more the way I want to have it on our way to being all in. Um, hmm. Small bet, jam, he can have like something like seven, eight, nine, eight pocket tens that have some equity. Um, so the more equity his hands have, the more I want to use a jam, the less I want to keep a uh, three street, three street game. And I guess, yeah, I'm jamming that one. Takes away his call fold options with hands like sevens or nine, ten, etc. Um, so I'm not really sure whether that should matter in that spot at all. Uh, my last decision to think about that was that I had the king of hearts, which um, kind of blocks the backdoor flush draw. He's check calling, and these are the hands I really attack with the small sizing. So if I have if I block that stuff, I cannot really attack it. So um, yeah, but that's really, really small stuff. Um, down here, I'm just jamming my jacks, uh, blind versus blind against uh, Igor. But Goran Mandic right here, Mansa 17. Good luck, my buddy. Played soccer together in Vegas, great guy. Uh, resume hand. I will really like him, really like him. And here I'm four betting, um, ace king off, blind versus blind. We are 100, almost 150 big steep. So, um, kind of interesting. Uh, definitely see betting that board. So again, we gotta mix our ace kings here. Uh, we do have queens, we do have kings, we have etc. etc. We have all the shit. Our ace king has lots of equity, so when there is a diamond flush on the turn, I want to block diamonds just to increase fold equity. Um, and this is why I take my ace kings with a diamond more often. And uh, yeah. This is how I play my aces, this is how I play my kings, this is how I play my queens. Most of them at least. A7 suited, I can have that too. Walking A7 of spades, that's not too bad either. And that jam is, I don't know whether it's a thing here. Seems fine. He has like ace jack or something, just uh, to protect my over cards are playing this part here uh we get squeezed we do have pocket kings we are for betting smallish and there we have the last hand again we are the last idiot to go through the blinds i open raise the small blind uh, face a three bet from the big blind flop a mid pair let's see how that one goes and here uh we keep betting small actually we even smaller And here we are obviously calling our mid pair. Interesting turn. Uh, here we got called. Um, 
So again, we can jam, we can... Now we have the king of spades. We don't block the hearts and the diamonds, like ace can. So we can, we want to use that small sizing here. Play a three street game. And we have another small sizing on the river. Down here, it went check, check. Uh, I'm trying to check that down. I think that's not strong enough for, for a block bet. And this sucks, guys. Here, he donk jams the river. Um, I mean, I'm calling off my kings, but what should that be? 8 9? Sevens, turning seven to two bluff. Okay. Take it. And here it went check, check, and we won against. I can't even look it up. I don't know. Why not? When the table breaks, you can't look at the replay anymore. We'll find out later, maybe. So up here we are in a cold four bat pot. Uh, I'm betting small again here to check back the river, but um, I'm behind quite often here on that queen turn. Uh, what about a database analysis next week? I'm curious what your method is like. Uh, I, I won't, yeah, like I'm just folding here. Um, I won't do something like that because right now, obviously I'm, I'm showing how, how I play and that's all fine. Um, but while talking about other people, they can learn quite a lot and I, I don't want to, I don't want to teach the players I'm playing against. Right now, I'm kind of fine with it when they invest the time and really watch all the streams here to have the chance that I'm just talking about them. Uh, but yeah, database review is just something they can watch once. And if I talk about them, they take some like a lot from it maybe, or they know at least how I approach them. Uh, so I, I don't want to do something like that. I guess that that does not make sense for me. What randomizer do you use? Is it key bound? I don't know what key bound means, but uh, my flatmate just like programmed that one himself for me. So uh, I use that one. <laughs> it has the nice Karlsruhe SC logo on it. Oh, that's a sweet one. Sometimes four batting my ace jack suited here, uh, sometimes hitting something, and this is more than something actually. This is something pretty good. So, yeah, we have lots of hands with equity, then we want to barrel as well, something like king queen, king ten suited, some ace king ace queen. Queens, kings, aces, all find their way in the middle too. So we do the same with our ace jack here. Oh. Um. I don't need the nuts to bluff catch. So I can take like a random ace axe of diamonds I might be having. Uh, so I lean a little towards betting. Just thinking how much of my range I need to check here. But uh, yeah, just going all the way. Maybe the reason for the check would be that I just block all the calling range, but um, I mean, there are the ace X of diamonds that are clearly checking back the uh, tens, whatever, maybe he's slow playing queen sometimes, etc. So I'd rather bet myself here. And I just don't see people having too many combinations of like six, seven of diamonds type of stuff. So like those natural clear bluffs that everyone is always bluffing. We just flocked the set in the Zoom 500 pool here. Facing a 60% bet, that's good to see. Turn card, I would have taken a king or a queen, but okay. You. Actually checking is an option here with our bottom set too. Um, 
I randomize that small bet or check. Oh, you rolled a really low number of 14 out of 100, so that allows me to check. Give him a chance to hit like a king or a queen, and an ace. Oh, you know, you know, you know. After betting large on the flop, I was more looking for like a queen, jack, king, not the ace too much, but. Now I hope he didn't go for like a crazy check jam with queens on the turn. Um, yeah, that looks good. Hmm, what do we do with our pocket fours here now, right? Ugh, yeah. Really, really tough. So that's it for the playing part of it. And let's have a look how that went. I first of all hope that you all enjoyed that session. Um, I for sure did. So you can see that here. And now we need to, this is what I always have to do. So this was the hand with the aces and I won a 35%er as well, 30 hands while setting up the Twitch stream. And this is our graph for today. Running hard on the on the high stakes, well, 1K, uh, being slightly up in, in BB per 100, uh, EV BB, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Just that big 1K pot. Uh, but lots of stuff to mark and to learn about the pool. Uh, let's just see, maybe I find some more hands here. All old hands. I mean, let's check out this present again. I squeeze, someone decides to call his Jack 10 off. I mean, I'll do that note taking anyway, so I'll do it just together with you guys. Um, Kata versus hijack flag, jack 10 off, call squeeze. Um, um, goes crazy against an inducing small bet. I just write my notes in German, so don't wor worry about that. Um, we wanna flip with jacks. We have that guy who apparently squeezes sevens against the hijack and the small blind. This is insane. Big blind versus hijack, small blind, squeeze sevens. And, uh, well, donk, bluff, randomly, river, donk, bluff, jam. And I put that in the four bad pot here. So that's the next, now I'll show you that hand. We see bet small, on the turn I decide to not jam, but see bet small again, puts him in a tougher situation with lots of hands. And the nine, uh, he just decides to dunk jam, which is um, interesting, right? He improves to some eight, nine suited if he plays them like that. Let's say he plays them half of the time like that. He calls them every time on the turn, so he got one combination total. Is he really playing nines like that? I don't think so. Uh, so he can add for that sizing like 0 0.2 bluffs. Um, yeah, whatever, I'm just making fun of him. That's like not a good play, guys. Um, that one was a, a very nice donation as well. I three bet seven, six suited. And this guy, Small blind versus big blind, open race call, jack, nine off. They decide to bet large, which is not really a thing on those monotone boards. But I've seen that he has not a full stack, he's from China, and the stats look fine so far, 40 hands, but have that feeling that he won't let go any equity anyways, and I have it. So what he thinks is equity. He, like he would call jack, nine of diamonds in the same way, probably. Size down on the turn. Um, allow him to do something stupid and then, well, I told you it's the perfect card on the river. Um, so yeah, we got that guy. Next present. Um, this one was interesting. Like, see bet, he should see bet smaller here. Um, we call, he should not see bet 
more than half of my stack here, why not use like a linear sizing and go over three streets? Gives me way tougher situations. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, queen jack of spades is obviously the best jam here, just blocking the ace queen and ace jack uh, suited that I might have. Um, but yeah, he has so many nuts and I, I, I'm i crying with my jacks on the turn because people are never bluffing. And here we can see it, like he's giving up that river, that hand, I mean, okay, maybe. Um, what else did we have here? Ace-Jack, I will definitely look that one up. I have 4-bet here. Make it a little bigger for you guys. Uh, I have 4-bet here and I flop the dream. And um, yeah, it's always about like when do we want to check, when do you want to bet. I definitely need to give up some Ace-Kings here. I do have something like King-10 suited, King-Queen suited as well uh, that I want to bet and like keep pushing equity and um, yeah, I can check jam something like queen sometimes if I want to. Um, I could check that as well, but I don't like it. Um, I could even jam like queens without a diamond. Um, and here now it's like the trade-off between how much of his calling range do I block? Does he, does he bluff more often than he calls me off when I jam? Um, I will look that one up for sure. So I just put that in the review, but uh, where is it? Mark for review. And yeah. What else did we have? Bet, bet fold. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's pretty much the main hands here. Uh, I'll definitely look that deuces up too. I it feels like I mean, that was just moments ago, those deuces. Um, I flop a set in a three-way pot. I sometimes call, I sometimes fold, use my randomizer for that to just sometimes have it. Um, that large bet is like something that is value and value hands are barreling the turn or is something that wants to fold out uh, certain, uh, certain cards like my king queen, my ace queen that would float against the small sizing. So I think he can have something like King Jack suited, Queen Jack suited, 10-9 that are on a pure give up on that turn. Um, so I can either bet very small or check. And uh, here I, I randomize a little, it just feels like a good check sometimes because people is just improve, uh, villain is just improving to second best hands, which he's either bluffing here or bet folding an ace. Um, yeah, we'll let, look that one up too, that's interesting. Yeah, that's it. Uh, nice little profit session here. So uh, great that you all tuned in. Make sure to tune in next time as well. And um, yeah, I'll enjoy lunch now. Uh, have, a, have a nice weekend, guys.